Hi, my name is Willie Cook, and this will be part one for the Vanguard engine swap on a Craftsman garden tractor. Okay, already ran the engine, got it nice and hot, and ran it out of fuel, so these exhaust bolts would come out easier. And unhooked uh, the throttle and choke cables and wiring, took the battery out, belt's already off, belt guards are already off. So I just want to go over this quick press for getting it out. A few things to watch out for, so... Please uh, hope you enjoy the video and hang on. That's for this bolt here. Here's an open wrench and a hammer will take that off. It comes off usually pretty easy and these are usually slide off easy. Make sure you don't forget your spacer. Keep the hardware with that, in which case we're going to be sticking our hardware in a container. As for these bolts, you take a Brigham Allen screws, you take the box into a wrench and stick it on here to pry that off carefully. If, it's, if they're hot, they usually come out pretty easy. And we'll put those in the container. Once your exhaust is off, it gives you better access to the engine mounting hardware. And you want to make sure your drain plug is flush with the ground so when we set it down, it doesn't sit crooked or break the, the stump off. So we can take these bolts out. There's supposed to be four of them. This is already loose. So that's all taken care of. We can pull this engine off. And we're going to take this over to the workbench. So, hang on. Now, some of the things we have to keep an eye out for is the crankshaft centerline height, which on this Vanguard's is quite a bit lower than the opposed or the single cylinder cast iron engines. Where we marked where this is at. There's a black mark where the center line's at. This is about a half inch low, and I already have spacers under the engine that came with it. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, however, the single cylinder has the same crankshaft height as the opposed. So all I need to do with this in combination with these spacers is I need to go up about a half an inch with the engine so I'll do that with some quarter inch plate for the top and bottom of those bushings make sure the engine sits properly okay the other thing we want to look at is how our distance between the front and the back of the engine So we'll usually do that once we set it in the frame so I need to get some hardware before I can get this engine bolted in. So I can also go over some of the wiring differences later on. Because we gotta look at how this is gonna go in because this thing has a fuel shutoff solenoid in it, which has to have power run to it during the starting circuit. So I'll get into more detail on that later. Okay. So if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I wanna say thanks for stopping by and have a good day.